Chapter 11 is about current liabilities, money or services that we owe within the next year, and payroll accounting. Problem 11-1A, which is assigned on your homework, is kind of difficult. So let's do 11-1B together to make sure we're off on the right foot. So Tyrus Company has accounts payable balance of $30,000 sales tax payable balance of $5,000 and unearned revenue of $12,000. Unearned revenue means someone has paid us in advance for work we're going to do later. So we have uh, about six different transactions to record for the month of January, a couple adjusting journal entries, and then the homework problem asks us to create the current liability section of the balance sheet. So on January 1st, we borrowed $20,000 cash from the bank at 6% interest. It's due within four months. That means it's short term since it's less than a year. So cash goes up by $20,000 and we debit cash for $20,000. And we also create a liability on our balance sheet called short term notes payable or short term debt, whatever you want to call it, to reflect the fact that we owe us $20,000. To make this homework problem a little easier to understand, I'm going to try to put all the liability accounts in red because that's what we're focused on here is the current liabilities and I'm going to put the arithmetic in green font down here so that we can focus on that separately. On January 5th we sold merchandise for cash totaling $9,752 which includes 6% sales tax. So the book expects us to do a little bit of algebra. If the total price that the customer paid was 9752, that means that if you take the sales and add 6% sales tax to that sales number, you get 9752. So in other words, algebraically 1.06 times sales will give us 9752. We divide both sides of that equation by 0 0.06 and we determine that the sales portion of that must be 9200. So what we'll do is we'll book the sale at 9752, the cash that we received. 9200 of that is our revenue account, our sales, and what we're worried about now is the $552 worth of sales tax. 552 is 6% of 9,200. So that's our liability account. As soon as we collect sales tax from our customer, we owe it to the government. We're going to pay it a little bit later, but we create the liability right away. Then on January 12th, we provided services to customers who had made previous advance payments. In other words, we earned some of that previously unearned revenue. So we get to decrease that unearned revenue account by $8,000 reflecting the fact that we earned that money. And we finally get to book it on our income statement, which means it gets to go into our revenue account. In this case, the book tells us that the credit is to an account called service revenue. On the 14th, we paid all the sales tax that was previously due. In other words, that $5,000 we paid off. So we get to decrease that liability account by $5,000. And how do we pay that? With cash. Cash is an asset. Assets decrease with credits. On January 20th, we sold 900 units of a new product on credit at 44 bucks a unit plus 6% sales tax. 900 times 44 equals 39,600. Take that 39,600 times 0 0.06 to give us sales tax of 2376. So, since we sold that stuff on account, that means that we have an account receivable. We have 39,600 of that as sales and we also have collected sales tax of 6% or 2376. So we create that liability of 2376 sales tax payable. We'll worry about the warranty liability at the end of the month. And then on the 25th, we sell some more merchandise for a total of 16536, which includes sales tax. In other words, 1.06 times our sales gives us a total of 16536. We divide both sides of that equation by 1.06. We're left with sales on the left side and 15600 on the right side. 
So of that 16,536, 15,600 must be our sales number. And the balance must be 6% of 15,600 or 936. So we collect $16,536 from our client. 15,600 is our sales and 936 is the sales tax payable that we owe the Board of Equalization. Now we get to the end of the month and we have to make two adjusting journal entries. First, let's accrue for interest. We borrowed $20,000 back on January 1st. We've had the use of it for one month and it bears interest at 6% a year. So $20,000 times 6% divided by 12, because we only owe one month's interest expense at the end of one month, is $100. Expense or debits, expense or debits, expense or debits. So we debit interest expense for 100 and we credit an account like interest payable or accrued interest for $100. Now we also have to account for the warranty costs. It's pretty likely that we're going to have to pay about 5% of our sales in warranty expenses. So 5% of our sales is 1980. 5% of 39,600 is 1980. So we book a warranty expense of 1980 and we accrue for the liability by crediting the warranty liability account for 1980. So then to solve this problem, what we'll do is we'll go back in and we'll post all these uh, journal entries to their respective accounts. And hopefully when we do that, we will have an idea of the balances in these various accounts. And then we'll be able to use those balances to create our current liability section of our balance sheet. All right, the pro problem tells us that accounts payable is still the same nothing has changed there so that's still a thirty thousand dollar balance sales tax payable is five thousand plus five five two there's one missing here five thousand plus five five two plus two three seven six plus nine three six minus five thousand gives us a credit balance in that account of three thousand eight hundred sixty four senior notes payable that's the twenty thousand dollars from that account there Unearned revenue has gone from a $12,000 credit balance minus $8,000 to a $4,000 credit balance. Warranty liability account is $1,980 balance. And interest payable is that $100 balance, which is a credit. So we add all those up and you end up with $59,944. And luckily, that's the correct answer. So that's how I would do problem 11-1B. And hopefully that'll help you do problem 11-1A and increase your understanding of current liabilities.